Hi, uh, I wanted to record a little preface to this video. It's been a while since I put out the first part of the Invincible cosplay thing, and I just kind of got hooked a little too much on making this video the best it can be that it ended up just, you know, sitting stagnant. So I wanted to put it out and give some new context about developments and whatnot after the fact, which is what you're seeing now recorded in my uncle's lovely basement. And some context here, uh, this costume was intended to be a second version of the first one that I made. The first one I really liked, but it had some problems. So this was supposed to be an upgrade into something that really suited that sort of Hollywood theatrical look that I'd been going for the whole time with some proper sewing, muscle padding, all that jazz. And I intended to enter it into GalaxyCon's uh, cosplay competition in 2022. So yeah, that's the context here. I'm starting maybe 18 days before the con is when this all starts so to put it all into perspective and what i'm going through during this time and with that being said um i'm still really happy with how the video came out so here we go oh hello i'm recording this on my ipad because my phone is in the storage so sorry about the video so all right it is almost midnight on the 12th of july that's where we start so uh, for reference, I've got the goggles done, I've got a base for the mask that needs to have sculpted uh, eyebrows, and I'm currently working on assembling a pattern that I got off of Reddit from a really nice guy. So I'll make sure to link that all in the comments and put his name here, but I don't exactly have a plotter printer at home, and this is like a huge pattern, like 34 sheets of paper. So I'm gonna work on cutting this out and taping it together. Do that, I wanted to show off what I have. So, except for the lenses, those are secret. <laughs> Fabric. This is the blue leather that will be with the costume. It's got a bit of a stretch to it. Uh, you can see I cut some of it, but it's not the stretchiest thing in the world. It's not, not perfect, but it is the best it can get at a consumer grade. It's no spandex, but it looks really good and it'll react to it really well to like paint and weathering, which is exactly what I need. I'm gonna use this same fabric from last time for the yellow, except I haven't tied it yellow yet. I've got this black fabric I didn't end up using. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna be able to see any details of that in the picture, but it's a Liverpool spandex. It, ah, uh, I don't know how to say it, like a little bullet texture, it's very neat. The black fabric, which is the biggest overall here, aside from the fact that it's gonna fit me. This is going to be the main base of the suit and it's gonna be accented with the Liverpool. Oh, there we go. There's a shot that you can see it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if this pattern works. My dog is here. She's helping me. Caspi, say something for the camera. Oh, oh, there she goes. Whoa. Adorable, I love her. Hello, teeny little update. I have finished the chest thingy majig. You know, this piece. I'm starting to think it might be scaled a little large. I don't know. This pattern has printed seam allowance. So I'm not too sure if this is really an accurate reflection of the size. I'm probably going to cut that all off and just do the seam allowance as I make the thing. Hi, this is a future me talking to my webcam as I edit this video. Do not do what I just did. That was a mistake. Um, patterns come with seam allowances for a reason. And I should have just thought about that when I was sewing. This was my first time sewing a big thing, so I just couldn't wrap my head around it. I thought it was unimportant. That was wrong. <laughs> Don't do this. This video is more like a cautionary tale than it is a tutorial. There's things to be learned. But, you know, be careful. I'll try to butt in as I do stupid things in this video but I'd probably add an hour to it if I had to commentate on every single one, so. But this half back slash leg pattern is like a yard long. There's that, and that's not even like the bottom of the leg either. You, you get yourself into a craft project and you think I'm gonna fucking rock this, and then you don't. And there's an inevitable failure. And you're supposed to allot yourself time to fail and learn. And I didn't allot myself time to fail and learn. So I have, was it 15 more days to fail and learn and do this? So some some trees are screaming for me right now with the amount of paper and ink that I've wasted. Cowspeak. What a cute dog. Okay, 
So I just cut out the entire thigh slash this part of my chest piece. Uh, I'll put a, put a picture here. It's, it's huge, and that is way more than the single width of one of my pieces of scrap fabric. So I'm gonna have to sew them together. Jesus Christ, this thing is huge. If I, if I fuck up with the real fabric, I'm gonna go broke. A funny detail I forgot to mention is that the blue vinyl, which I'm still a huge fan of, the leather, was $40 a yard. So, uh, I was worried for good reason. Hi. Okay. So, I have actually managed to do the whole pattern. Some pieces are flipped, so I can't really set it all properly without cutting off all the seam allowance uh, paper first. But I do at least have the body and the thigh on here, along with, you know, the chest stripe and stuff. So, uh, there it is. It actually looks like Invincible. It's crazy. Okay. Okay. So, I have been working on the costume. All the patterns are cut out, and that should be in the last clip that I made. It's like two in the morning. They look to be to the right scale. I luckily have enough of one old fabric to cut out the uh, leg and chest portion and sew it all together and see how well it works. Hopefully it's well, and hopefully this just goes pretty seamlessly and I just have to work on the muscles and stuff. Uh, it's still gonna be a process. I'm gonna have a friend over that might be able to help me sew some shit because she's better at that than I am, which is not a, not a high bar to clear. If not, then people are gonna see me walk into a convention in a hot glued suit. So, yes. For now, things are at a pause, but they're looking good at least, which is more than I thought would have been the case. So, just to show my current workspace here, so there, is that pattern that I was talking about on fabric. So should be able to flip that around and fit at least two of those on there if I need, I don't know if I need to do both of them or not. I will see. I've got some more scrap fabric in that corner along with all the excess paper, which is a lot. Caspi left me and went upstairs cause she's a hater. Hello, hello. Okay, day two, 14 days until the convention. I had a friend over and I asked her if she could help me set up the sewing machine because I'm a fucking idiot. And uh, after two hours of troubleshooting, we got it working and I now know how to sew right. So I've been taught how to pin, how to hide the seams and now things are looking pretty up. All of my fabrics work on the machine. I've yet to test the actual test fabrics. I've just done little samples of like the real fabrics I'm using, which is the more important thing. Uh, I still need to cut out the pattern pieces into the test fabric and make sure that works. So, uh, one of my earlier worst stitches, but hey, it's together. And you really can't see the seam all that much. This would fly. It would be passable. I'd also like to take this moment to show off the old boots. I use the Spider-Man shoe method here, where you decimate a pair of Walmart water shoes. This is, this is the problem. <laughs> Would be an easy fix, but I'm just not using this fabric. But hey, invincible boot. It looks like an invincible boot. So, all right. So here it is. It works, which is crazy. I got it for like 10 bucks. I was not expecting it to work with how the first bit of testing here was going. Things are looking up. So this needs some work. Uh, basically, this back here is a yellow zipper. It's a perfect color. So at the top of this, it only opens that much. So that means I have to fit my head through here. Like this. Like I'm being born in reverse. I'm not gonna lie to you, it looks pretty horrible because it pushes my hair up. This might be the worst angle you could see this from. I made this with no sewing. Or no pattern either. So this is how it sits on my face. Doesn't look too bad. So the work to be done here. I'm gonna add eyebrow lines here i might take the inserts out here but i think just pulling it back might do it i don't think they thought very much about how it would look in real life when they made it. the lenses handmade very difficult use clear spoons but just to give a general idea of how this would look 
little bug-eyed. I'm definitely not centered. I have terrible, terrible visibility through this. I really want to see if I can hook them up with the magnets, but maybe I'll show up in a tux and this mask. No lenses. And people just have to guess. Okay. Mask. Hello. I figure it's worth recording an update here. It's 1.24 a.m. And I've begun tracing out the pattern onto this big hunk of scrap fabric underneath the iPad. Up, oh, the arm is cut out. Here is Gatsby, mainly recorded so I could show Gatsby here. Hello, Spitter. That checks out. There is progress. So I traced um, a majority of the patterns that I need right now and that are gonna be the most contrived and difficult onto the blue piece. It's right here, and underneath it is a pink piece. And now I've pinned down the first pattern here on to that piece so I can cut it out, have it even, and then hopefully sew together what gets sewn there and see how it fits. This part will be time-lapsed. All right, time to sew, I hope. Hey, so this is post-production me. Uh, I tried to sew and then couldn't figure it out, so I just had to look up tutorials. Nice. Wanted to also take the opportunity here to say that there is so much footage here. I have cut out so much. Uh, you guys are looking at, like, the highlight reel of my misery, so I hope you're enjoying it. For reference, here is a 100 times speed, one hour long video of me trying to figure out how to work my stupid sewing machine that I got from a yard sale. I, I just can't figure it out. I really like watching it so fast and just seeing how my dog scutters around while I'm suffering. Hi, hi. I'm back on the ultra wide. Okay. So things are going mostly well. I've had to fix the sewing machine to like start sewing again a few times. Hiccup we've run into now is that I don't have enough of the torso assembled to really understand how the rest of it is laid out. So I didn't really word it well in the moment, but one of the big things that I struggled with here was trying to figure out how the pattern went together, because as commonly used as dye sub patterns are, it's surprisingly difficult to find documentation on how they come together that I could understand. So I, uh, that took me a while. I'm going to make the chest piece right now on this fabric and hopefully there isn't too much more fuss. <sighs> okay. I don't remember the last time I put a time on one of these. I think it was one. It's now like almost five in the morning. <sighs> I've made some progress since then. And, but the sewing machine keeps unthreading itself like it takes the thread out of the needle every or after almost every time I sew. I get one sew through and then off it goes. I have to rethread it. It's just like a pain in the ass. Good amount done here. So that's the chest. From holding it to myself, it feels like it would fit me. This is the chest and the crest and everything. As you can see there, my sewing is not great. So. I've got to work on sewing on a curve. Beyond that, I mean, the chest is in there. There's a lot of instances where I did the sewing like inside out, like right here. So I'm just gonna have to cut it there. And here it's like pretty rough, but on the final product, I'll definitely be double checking a lot more than I am with this. But it's, it's late and I have a job. So um, I'll see you on day 13 from the thing, I think. Hello. I've got 14, 13 days until the convention. And, uh, <laughs> today is not as big of a success. Work was shitty. And, uh, I've hit a point where I've gotten everything that I think goes in the pattern together. And I can't figure out how the rest of this comes together. And the documentation on a pattern like this being put together online is pretty horrible. I cannot find any information on how to put this together at all. All right, guys, so Invincible's update today is pretty crazy. I'm gonna eat a salad. I just now found, after hours of looking, a comprehensive 
way to sew together a die sub pattern. So uh, tomorrow I will try following that. The guy who made the pattern did a really great job, but the thing he linked, I, I don't have the kind of brain to understand that. It's n I'm not tailored to sewing yet, get it? Fuck you. But this is, this is what we're doing today. These are salad. Say it again. Gatsby, look at the camera. Gatsby, do you have something to say to the loyal viewers of my channel? Hmm. That's it. Good morning. Matthew's here. This is um day there thirteen or fourteen days till the convention. Can you tell I can't count? If I had started this yesterday, like uh, before midnight, it would be 14 days. But now it's, wait, no, no. If I started this yesterday, it would have been 13 days. And now it's 12. So um, I'm just gonna continue where I was working. I think what I might do is retrace some of the patterns onto new scrap fabric and try again because i realized that doing the pants up is probably not the best idea so i'm going to start from the neck down especially since a, since there's a lot more curvature there caspi is here being a hater i went to state to try and work on that shit um i made an adam eve uh emblem i'll, I'll put it here but um, beyond that, I didn't get much done. I was gonna work on the muscle, but honestly, the muscle is pretty passable, and they didn't let me use the oscillating sander on it because they thought I would kill myself with it. So, um, not much progress made today outside of that. So, hopefully, I can get some more sewing done. I finally found like some concrete tutorials on the pattern, and I looked at the guy who made it. Uh, his he posted like a final results picture of it, and you can actually pretty clearly see where the seams come together. So. I'm gonna be going with that. So, we'll see how this goes. Here's Gatsby. You got anything to say to the, to the camera, Matthew? No. Okay. Thanks, Matthew. What are you doing? Oh, he's Spider-Man, guys. Guys, look out. Oh, oh, hey, hey. He's Spider-Man. <laughs> Hello. Same day, same day. Truth be told, uh, Matthew's gone by now. Uh, I didn't do much work while he was here. We just kind of talked. But uh, it's three in the morning. I'm going out tomorrow. So I don't think I'm gonna do much tonight. I was going to dye the fabric, but I've been kind of just out and about trying to work on stuff all day. And I'm a burnt out. I'm doing a test on some adhesive, but I have a way better understanding of where the fabric goes. And as far as I know with my pattern, it should fit. Jesus, out. Jesus, comfy. I, I wanna be that comfy. I need to stop having these lapses in productivity, but tomorrow, at least for the first six hours of my day, I should be able to dedicate a pretty solid amount of time to this. I'll try to wake up at maybe 10 or 11 and just get straight to dyeing fabric. You see what I was doing here is called torturing myself. I really recommend that you do not do this. When you work on something as, like, feverishly and long as I did this, you tend to define your, like, accomplishedness by the process or progress that you've made in that. Uh, don't let this happen to you. <laughs> Hello, it is what? It's now the morning after the last recording. That would be what? another day another 12 days from con so today's goal is to dye the fabric that's what i'm going to do it's something that i need to do before i start working on the main thing and it might take a little bit
I hope you didn't like that outfit too much because I pretty quickly realized that I wasn't going to wear that nice ass jacket into dyeing something piss yellow. So. Hello. <clears throat> so now it's time to dye stuff. I've got water boiling in the sacrificial pot and this is the fabric that's going to be going in. So definitely too much for that pot. So I'm going to have to boil two separate batches, move them into the bucket on the floor. And pray that it works. This is the dye I'm using. Same as I used last time, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully it goes a little better, but if not, I mean, I'm already going to be dousing it in fabric paint anyways, so. Hello, hello. Another update. Um, the pot I was using, I had previously used to dye another thing, and that was red. It was a gift from my girlfriend. The problem is, when I put water in it and it was boiling, I poured it out and it was still red. And uh, it's one thing if it just doesn't dye it yellow enough, because I can still paint it. But if it dyes my only remaining fabric red, that's another problem. So now I've moved to a clean pot. I'm going to transfer that water into that bucket. And sorry, got a little bit of water in there. Then I'll use the dye. I'll stir it. It at least gets a little yellow. What's some last tech tips? Usual. All right, so water got to a boil. Now I am stirring my piss-colored fabric. It's, once again, not taking super well. Water probably isn't consistently hot enough, and it's probably not enough dye to make it the actual color on the package. But again, yeah, just needs to be somewhat yellow. I have fabric paint. It's not the end of the world, so. All right, so this is one of the only parts I'm recording on my phone, but there it is. It looks a lot more yellow outside, which is really nice. Let's try and fish it out. Okay. That looks good, it's a little sudsy. I think I put too much dish detergent on it, but hey, it should work. Okay, so first vertical, vertical in this video, it's crazy. So I've hung it to dry. That's about how much I'm working with. Should be plenty for the chest and stuff. But there it is. Should work. Fucking better work. But yeah, it's very hot in here. I wrung it out a bit. It's still very wet. Forgot to record an outro here, but I was kind of worried that it was going to drip its piss on my four foot tall OC Chris Pratt Mario poster. So I had to run to save it. Hi guys, it's Ian Zero on YouTube.com. Hey. This is, uh, what day is it today? Uh, Sunday. The 17th. 17th. So we have 11 days till con. I will be working on the neck and shit today. Jack is helping me make the muscles. We are being more efficient because uh, I need to help a friend with his costume at, like, the day before the con. So, that's coming soon. Here's Cal. The lovely girlfriend who helped me with my first one and is now working on Adam Eve. It's right here. She's out cold. Actually, she's pretty warm. <laughs> it's going better. <laughs> it was a pretty productive day. I found out a good few things. We figured out how the black is gonna be paneled. It's gonna be down the side of the body and on the side of the leg. Look at it. I figured out how it could come together. And it looks pretty fucking sick. This is gonna run down here and it's gonna give the entire suit a bit more texture. And it's gonna contrast really well with the rest of the black. So, pretty hype. We've got the second one of these patterned and ready to go. So, yeah, it's just a matter of waiting to get this all together and shit, it's gonna work. Hello. So it's the 18th, we've got 10 days until the con. Uh, I've been working on the neck. I made a test pattern yesterday, fit pretty all right. I've been trying to make it today. The sewing machine liked that fabric, it worked fine. Now it suddenly doesn't. I remember that I was told the sewing machines don't like slick fabrics, so putting a piece of paper in it has worked, but it definitely makes it more difficult to follow the pattern and I've had to seam rip it and redo it like once. Honestly, what I ended up with on this seam isn't very good, but I just need to take a break. I need to eat before I start starving and going insane. Um, I'm gonna have salad. 
And once I'm done with that, hopefully I can finish the next tonight, work on some of the blue. And tomorrow we work on the legs up and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right. Hello, it's midnight. I believe I have finished sewing the neck piece. Some pieces are longer than the others. That was just a part of the pattern for some reason, but this will wrap around me like such. It's really hard for me to lay on properly. I think it needs the weight of the rest of the costume pulling it down to make any sense. My sewing machine was being very annoying. But hey, I mean, invisible stitches. Reasonable stretch. I have a feeling this is gonna be a little big and I'm gonna have to trim it down a bit. I was right. I have a feeling that might be the theme with the rest of the costume too. It's really Slight spoiler, but thank God it wasn't. Yep. Here we are. The front of Invincible's neck. The beginning of the curve. Oh. Hello? I've been at this for a little while now. It is currently 1.16 a.m. on the 20th of July. There's eight days in Dilkan. <sighs> neck piece is still done. I've cut out the pieces for all of the blue on the chest, but I'm, I'm just gonna keep grinding at it. Hopefully I can figure it out. Here's Caspi, she's been by my side a majority of the night. Definitely keeping me alive. Love her. Boop, boop. See y'all on the flip side. Or the next day. Eight, ten, eight, nine days left till time, because it's really one in the morning. Hey, it's me. So we're still eight days away from Khan. It's 11 p.m. today. I'm a little more alive than I was last time, but I feel particularly unmotivated. I really haven't done shit yet. I've just been watching videos about the MCU. I've gotten into this like real focus about how it feels like it's declining, but that's a topic for another time. I'm still enjoying what they're putting out, <sighs> but I have a lot to do. I really want to get the blue done tonight. I I don't know if I'll be able to, but that's the goal. To the surprise of no one, I did not finish the blue that night. I just kept watching videos and then went to bed. On to the next day. Hey there. There has been an unfortunate turn of events. So my mom tested positive for on one of those little rapid home tests. Me and my brother did them and we tested negative, but I've been feeling not so great in the past couple days. Could be the reason that I've been so unproductive. <sighs> So, I think things should clear up by the convention, but it's certainly not a good thing to have. But we're all feeling fine, mostly. Just a little, a little fatigue, a little congestion. So, yeah. I wanted to work on the costume today. I figured, okay, I'm not gonna be at work. I've got time to kill and work on this, and then I just didn't. I've been sitting watching TikTok or eating all day or sleeping. I have not felt that great, <laughs> but I've got the rest of the night and hopefully I can get something done, at least get the blue parts done. Really, 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 it should just be a matter of putting shit together at this point. But, we'll see. I'm probably gonna, oh, I am going to eat now. I'm gonna have my, my Bertoli chicken farfalle, farfalle Italian people. I'm Italian. And, um, and my uh, blue raspberry flavored one. So, that I'm gonna work on the costume. Probably gonna start breaking bad. We'll see. Hey, so here's a positive update. I've been grinding this thing out for a bit, looking at the pattern, just thinking real hard. And there is a wearable portion of the costume. It's crazy, it's a test piece, but still the point stands. The back goes on the back, but this is wrapped around my arm. It may be a boring straight stitch, but it fits, and it's gonna do a lot better with the stretchy fabric. And yeah, I'm excited. That's how it's gonna look. Except a much, much nicer fabric. The little curve here, I think I've... Okay, so to explain this in the best way I can. The part that lines up from the shoulder to the chest is very weird looking because of the nature of it being an invincible pattern made out of a Spider-Man template. And this part took a second for me to figure out, but I figured out how to sew this together. But this, 
I think through my alterations of the pattern, which were slight, they just kept piling up and piling up. And as I printed it out and made edits, the piece that connects to this just got smaller and smaller and smaller. And this piece got bigger and bigger. And now it's just like not proportional. And it shouldn't be too difficult of a fix, but it was just fucking with my head for a while because I couldn't figure out how they went together. My dog is completely asleep and it is adorable. Oh my God, she just woke up. You see her though. Her and my girlfriend are keeping me alive. And Breaking Bad. All right, so it's me. I uh, got my test results back. I came out negative. Uh, I'm still not feeling great. I really don't know what it is. It might just be a normal fever. Uh, my mom, the one who tested positive on the at-home test, still hasn't gotten her results back, even though me and my brother did, and we took the test at the same time. So that stinks. Today's been a relatively unproductive day. I've been kind of drained. I don't know what it is. My girlfriend suggested it might be burnout. She might be right. <laughs> Um, but I've been making like little tweaks and alterations to the costume, uh, pattern and stuff, trying to get it ready to be made. So, this is the process of me figuring out these damn shoulder pieces. They are figured out at least. So, I'm probably gonna start sewing the blue together, hopefully attach that to the yellow. Uh, maybe I should paint the yellow first, um, but yes. Hopefully, I will have significant progress and it'll start to look like it can actually go on my goddamn body. Hello, hello. I hope this isn't recording to my earbud mic. So, we got tested again. I once again tested negative. My mom keeps testing positive. I'm doing my best to keep space. That's why I'm up here. Uh, she's downstairs cooking and stuff. So, I'm keeping my distance. Right now, it's a San Diego Comic-Con uh, Marvel panel. And I just saw Daredevil at the end of the She-Hulk trailer, and I creamed a little on my pants. He looks fucking fantastic. I am so happy they're not like just trying to keep him a secret anymore. I think that's ignited a spark in my loins to keep working on the costume and actually move instead of sitting around. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that. I don't want to do a Daredevil next, but God knows my wallet can't take it. And that suit's way more intricate to be handmade. So we'll see. So, been sewing the blue. I've realized I have I have whatever remains of my awakeness tonight. I have until 5 p.m. tomorrow. I have after 8 p.m. Monday, I have after 8 p.m. Tuesday, and I have Wednesday the entire day to work on this. And maybe Thursday morning if I feel like skipping out on some of the con. So, let's sew together all the blue. Sew together all the yellow. Sew together all the black. Sew all of that together. Sew together, uh, make the boots. Fix the mask, apply the lenses to the mask, uh, glue in the muscles, weather and shade everything. So it's like all of that in what might amount to less than 20 hours of cumulative time. I'll probably pull an all-nighter on Wednesday. This is not looking great. I'm not going to lie to you. My morale is decently low, but I'm starting to move a little faster. I really like, I don't know, I just have not felt great these last couple days. And these really should have been days where I took advantage and grinded it all out. Grinded it all out. But I mean, hey, at least, at the very least, like, it's not much. But that clearly has the capacity to come together for something. But, ooh, that seam allowance looks pretty ass right now. Soon it'll make sense. Soon this will all come together and be beautiful. I hope. Here is my terrible, terrible stitching. These are definitely not the right stitches to be using on this, but I just need it done. So I believe I've completely sewn this part of the blue. Looks pretty terrible right now, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it needs to be sewn into the rest of the costume. There's definitely imperfections. There's definitely things that aren't going to lay perfectly, but honestly, I don't give a damn. That's how it looks right now, but there is a huge amount of excess fabric that is yet to be tightened up. But yeah, that's that's that. <sighs> Still a lot to come together, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel, it seems. So to get as much done as possible, I'm gonna cut out the most reasonably simple shape next. 
which is going to be the chest emblem, or not the chest, the chest diamond thing? I don't, one, two, three, four, five. The chest pentagon. It's not really a pentagon, but you know, by some stretch of the imagination it is. I'm gonna trace that, cut that out. Hopefully that shit works. I've gotta find the best thing to trace it with so the pattern doesn't show through, but yeah. So, all the blue on the top of the costume is together, and I've started putting the yellow with it. It'll lie something like this, but this is yet to be painted. I'm, I, I was going to do that before, but I really need it together, because I'd rather wear an unpainted but together costume than no costume at all. So whenever I do paint it, I'll just block off the areas I'm not painting with paper or painter's tape. It's five in the morning. <laughs> I am impressed with my progress. This is more than I've managed to do these last couple of days. But this yellow piece has proven to be a pain in the ass. Again, it's like every little micro adjustment that I've made, uh, either intentional or on accident, has made this more difficult. Then we have to see where this shit goes. So, yeah. This is not, not going fantastic, to be completely honest with you. But I have some faith. Just a little. Hey there, new day, trying, so the curve, I did the stitch I failed to do yesterday, but then the curve, thought I did it well, very much did not, it just didn't hold in place like I wanted it to, so uh, time to get the seam ripper and try again, this is going to be an agonizing process, but admittedly I think this is the last of like the very difficult stitches on this, so we'll see, four days until the con, but once again, once again, she is serene and she's happy. Look at her. What a beautiful dog. Ooh. Hello, hello. I'm sitting on a pin. After much strife and many visible failed stitch attempts on the fabric itself. Although, unless somebody comes up to me with a fucking microscope, they're not going to see it. I have managed to put this goddamn thing together. Woo! It's not perfect by any means, and that's a terrible camera angle. What we have so far, again, this curve is a lot thicker than it'll actually be. It'd be more like this, but hey, it fucking worked. Hey there, I think I've been slacking on the videos a little bit recently, that's my bad. So, we are, we are two days away from the convention. It is Tuesday. Um, one in the morning, so barely Tuesday, but it's Tuesday, Tuesday night. Had some people over, but we had, you know, non-costume things to talk about and do. <sighs> Maybe not the best use of my time, but I still got a bit of energy. Gonna chug some Mountain Dew and keep working. Bootleg Mountain Dew, of course, and diet. But, you know what it still has? Caffeine. <sighs> Which is what a man needs right now. So, right now, I, I'm um, taking a, I had some help. We have about half the neck sewed. Sorry about that awful angle. I'm going to cut out the black now, so hopefully by the time I do that, I'll have it ready to put together. Fuck it. I'm trying to figure out if this will divvy, like if I can fit another one of these flipped over here. I, I don't know if I can, but, well, who the fuck cares? So, here are the other two pieces drawn. These are leg and back, leg and back, more leg and back. Gotta do one more of those. This is taking up like half the fucking sheet, so I'm not going to have a lot of room for error, but... Uh, let's have a fucking uh, the cookie crumbles there's gonna be a couple compromises here and there but honestly i'm liking the direction it's taking so far i have a feeling that one of the biggest i am anticipating that this might need some tailoring the neck feels like a little big some parts feel like they can, might be tight it might all just like i might just be overthinking and when it all comes together it cinches perfectly it might be that i've made so many little mistakes that it's a little too loose altogether. So I really don't know yet. I'm hoping that it's just me overthinking, but I'm not in a place to confidently say what the answer to that is. All right, hello friends, it is now night. It, it's been night, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's like two, it's almost three in the morning. <sighs> Truth be told, ah, the sewing machine gave me some issues. The bobbin on the thread and it took me about like five attempts to rethread the bobbin. And my attempts to stitch together this one part have been kind of fruitless. Like, it's making little steps, but I know I'm not gonna be able to do it at how tired I am. I cut out those pieces, I uh, recorded a little video, and that's a pretty significant step. It's easy, but it needed to be done. And those shouldn't be the hardest to sew. 
these two neck pieces are like the hardest things that I'm gonna have left to sew. And then after that, it should be relatively smooth sailing and I've gotta get working on the more like hands-on stuff like the mask, boots, and gloves. So, yeah, I really wanna do more. I think tomorrow I will have the main body of the costume done. That's my goal. It's just been a really difficult time and I've been very tired, but tomorrow I should have good staff of people and I'm gonna try and stay focused, maybe bring food so we don't go out for a mandatory trip, but I need to use the energy I have while I can and I don't have any energy right now. I will have more tomorrow, but yep. Two days until the con. When I start again tomorrow, it'll also be two days until the con. God. It's just like a core memory. You said what? Oh, oh this goes hard. Hi. Okay. So we are one day, <laughs> no, two days from GalaxyCon technically. And I sewed up the top of Invincible. So there's that. So now I'm working on all the black parts and they're all working on their own costumes. Rachel, where's your stabbers? Not here. Oh, I are can, you serious? I can get something to put them on. In the garage. Where they're drying. Oh, they're still drying. Scusi. What? They're right? probably yeah. drying. They're right there. there. Wait, what? What's that? Who the hell took them out? Okay. He's he's John Yakuza. Uh, he's blue. Uh, she's your from Spy Family. We made these things. Uh, wait. I don't know if it'll be reversed, so just for safety's sake. Back Looks sick forth. as fuck. I made a Fantastic Four logo and laser cut it. Uh, that's my dog. But yeah, look, sewn. Doesn't, he may have cut it, but I'm suck. holding it so it looks like I made it. <laughs> that is his costume. If I have the time, I'll match it. But this is the update. I'll probably tune back in at 3 in the morning when I'm alone and sad. <laughs> Hello. It's 2 in the morning. The squadron is disassembled. I was working on the last of these patterns, which was for the arms, which was difficult. But now it's done. But now I've got all the other arm pieces. Yada, yada, yada. And I've got to sew it all together. Such fun. Woo! Then depending on how long I can keep kicking, I'm going to try and do the rest of the uh, black parts in the costume. And then hopefully tomorrow morning I can paint, boots, mask, and gloves. I almost forgot about gloves. There's a lot to do. But I'll at least have the whole day. So, and I'll try to wake up as early as possible. No more. I'm more fucking around. I cannot afford to anymore. But yeah. Let's see where this goes. Okay. Watching Summoning Salt. Wanted to give a little progress update. I thought this would be more of a pain in the ass. I thought it would look weird. But this actually looks kind of fucking perfect. Look at that. That is such a nice contrast. I have not seen these two sewn together like yet. I hadn't done it yet. But look at it. It's like perfect. It's like seamless. Hey, update. One arm done. This looks sick as hell. This camera does absolutely no justice to the textures at play here. But wow, I really like how this looks. It's gonna be on my side. I... I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't know whether this is the right or left arm. Um, that's how it'll look. Hello. So, both arms done. Number one. Look at that stretch. The, the design was intentional here, where this fabric is a lot stretchier than the hexagonal fabric. But both are stretchy, so it'll fit me if I have enough actually grow muscle or just add more muscle padding. Look at it. Yes. Go. I think I'll wake up at like 10 tomorrow, shower, go straight to this. So we are officially one day until GalaxyCon now. <sighs> I think I've got this, but I will definitely need help. So I'm going to do all that I can tomorrow. This clip is me trying to sew together the boots. Very thrilling. And now we're left at one day before the con. All right, hey, it's a new day. So I tried real hard to put zippers in the boots. I bought new zippers at a random Walmart but they're just too difficult and I don't like how the seam shows on the outside. It's not subtle enough. I can't get it to line up straight and I just don't have the time. So right now they're just going to be a straight, they're, they're sewn back and front and the fabric is reasonably forgiving. 
so it's gonna be really annoying when there's an actual shoe at the end of it but for now i can just slide it on it's gonna get these done they need to be functional because the rest of the costume needs to come together then i can do all the beauty work so whew, that's current update about to do the left one we'll see we are 25 hours away all right so this is the last video I recorded before I got into what was essentially like a hyper-focused, just non-stop grind for the thing. This is a long video of me testing sewing, the black parts, the boots, etc. And uh, from this point on, I'm going to have to narrate the events as they happen because I just wasn't able to record as much. But I took a lot of pictures, so <laughs> at least there's that. So on this day, we managed to put together the top half of the body for Invincible, one of the legs, the arms, and the boots. And Ronan made this, uh, this cute little scrunkly little guy. I forgot what his name was. Okay, so the first day of the con was a pretty packed one. I, I'm now here. This is post me. Invincible may or may not be in this room. So on the first day of the con, I just gotta, I gotta review everything here. We didn't get to the con around four or five, full disclosure, we took some time before. So in that time, we mounted the boots to the shoes, cause it's a boot cover that goes on a shoe. We sewed together the entire Invincible suit. Uh, there, it had some interesting fits for a minute until I put it together. Um, I installed a zipper in the suit like uh, three different times because my pins were working against me. I tried it on. There's the first picture right there. I thought it looked pretty dope. A little desaturated, so we gave it the paint job since I figured that was kind of too essential to leave without. And then I made my friend a Fantastic Four costume uh, in that day. Uh, that was difficult. Uh, he helped and uh, massively. I'm really glad he was there. Uh, but, you know, now we were all together. Invincible wasn't finished. It was missing the muscles. It was missing the weathering. The arms were very loose for some reason. So was the neck. Uh, but I was not going to be a quitter. So I took that to the con and called that day one. On day two of the con, we worked on washing out ink bleed on the suit because I used a washable marker on the suit. And something I realized as I was painting the suit is that paint is wet and it washes out washable markers apparently. So the suit had this weird red bleed around all of the edges, which looked really bad. So after I spent probably two or three hours scrubbing that out and drying it, we installed the muscles in Invincible, which you'll see here next to my very lovely girlfriend in her very cool Eve costume. Maybe she'll make a video about her much less strenuous process because she actually has time management skills. After the muscles, um, we didn't paint them that day. We just wanted to get to the con. We kind of got a late start. So uh, we went to Walmart to get shoes for her costume and water shoes because I was going to make a Fantastic Four costume of my own to go up on stage with Mr. Ronan which I did. Here you go. They had an ass cam. They zoomed in on my ass. My fantastic ass. So that was fun. There was also this really cool spring trap and this really cool Doctor Strange and a very cool concho. I hope I remember to put those pictures up there. Day three of the con was a pretty big challenge because I had to polish up the mask. The invincible mask is probably my greatest enemy. I have made so many things about how much of a hassle it was to make, to design, to produce. The lenses were like an hour, like probably eight hour long ordeal. So there was a lot of time and care put into them and I just didn't get it to the state I wanted. So the mask I spent a lot of time working on. Here's what it looked like by the end of the day. We painted the muscles and did the weathering and I had some really good ramen. I'll put the picture of the ramen there. That was awesome. So, the weathering really sells the suit and its quality. The unfortunate thing of that day was after we had done all that, we got it all together, uh, the boot of the shoe started falling off, and we were behind on schedule, so we stayed a little bit more to do that, 
and the reminder on my phone to go to the cosplay competition pre-judging never went off. So I missed my chance to go to the cosplay competition, which was a blow. That, that did not feel nice. But it was still a really fun day, and I, you know, spent it with people that I enjoy being around. So, and I met Giancarlo Esposito because my friend decided to pay up and for the photo op. So that was pretty cool. I bet you weren't thinking you would see a photo of Invincible next to Gus Fring. Were you? Aside from that, we got we got some pretty cool shots. Uh, the only other Invincible cosplayer there, to my knowledge, was this Omni-Man. I hope he doesn't care that I'm putting him in this video. I hope he's flattered, but he had a nice hit. So there's him and I, Omni-Man, dad and son, and a really cool Doom guy, because I'm seeing the picture now as I scroll through, and I like that picture. So yeah, that was a fun day. And by day three, Invincible was done. We were good. Invincible was finished, which was insane to think about. After all that time, after a month of that strenuous, painful work, there's my girlfriend. After a month of that work, we had finally finished that stupid costume. Not stupid, it's cool. All right, and with all that, this is like real future me. This is like a few days before I'm uploading this video. Um, that was an ordeal. The costume did get done, as you can see. Um, here are a few better photos of it. Um, I've been working on posters of it for God knows how long now, because at my core, I'm a graphic designer. Um, I'm also a cosplayer, if you can't tell, but it's what I like doing a lot. So it, it taught me a lot about con crunching. I, I've made the mistake again and again. Um, this happened for Animations Competition. It happened for GalaxyCon next year. Um, but don't don't do what I did in this video. Give yourself time. If you really care about something, you shouldn't tank yourself in trying to get it done in such a compromising amount of time. After all that, I did improve the costume. If you could tell in some of the photos, the mask is completely remade. Um, lenses are the same, but I got rid of the paper and ended up using the pattern that the original pattern included. I redid the muscles a couple times, I had boot trims, and just tried to clean it up and make it look a little sharper. And that actually all led to me ending up winning an award at FayetteVillCon this year with the costume, which was really gratifying. It was nice to see something that I was already super proud of finally get that kind of like mark, that, uh, haha, mark, mark, um, that kind of like approval. Uh, so that was super cool. But with all that and with my increasing difficulty in trying to work on that costume, I do think it's time to turn the page on it and I will be attempting to make a new version of it uh, in the coming years, hopefully ah, like midway next year with some way crazier stuff going on to make it really stand out. Hopefully that is possible. Hopefully I don't drive myself insane for other cosplays. I'm working on revising my Deku cosplay right now, which I'm super happy with, but I'm just trying to make it a little bit crazier. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, I'm super happy with where Invincible's taken me. Even if it was difficult, it was still really cool to go through all those motions. And yeah, it's, it's been a lot. Thank you for sitting through all of this insanity. Uh, I'm surprised you managed to tolerate it this far. Uh, Keep an eye out, uh, follow my Instagram if you'd like to see updates on my costume stuff like this. But yeah, thank you for watching.